Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, the uh, about um, ratification of a misrepresentation. Okay. So, what happens? Let's say in a hypothetical scenario where uh, an agent uh, concludes a contract with a third party on behalf of a principal, let's say a company, and um, he induces that third party to sign the contract um, through misrepresentation. Okay, so let's say that the agent is completely unauthorized to conclude the contract. Will the company, will that principal be liable in uh, damages um, and in misrepresentation for the, uh, you know, for the contract that uh, his agent concluded? Well, the, uh, the answer is no, because the agent was unauthorized. He had no authority to conclude the contract. He had no ostensible, no at, n neither actual authority to conclude that contract. Um, so he's not going to be liable in misrepresentation neither, because that very act during which the misrepresentation was done um, does actually not bind that principle. Okay. However. If the principal decides to ratify the contract, he can reject, he can leave out the misrepresentation. He's obliged to take the misrepresentation alongside with the contract. So if there is a misrepresentation and the principal wants to keep the contract, he's going to have to think carefully before he ratifies that contract because he's going to ratify that toward. So he'll have to weigh in um, the negatives and positives of um, ratifying that contract. Now, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you want to see more videos like that, just please subscribe to my channel below. See you in my next video.